what's up everybody welcome back to another classic wow hype video where we go over one of the thousands of details and in-game mechanics that made vanilla wow taste so so good today i want to stick around in westfall and go over a rare spawn named voltros this bird is distinguished from the rest of the carry-on buzzards by its ultra rare charcoal colored blue gray skin and the fact that it's like twice the size of the other red birds in the area now there are a few things that make this bird unique and worth covering for starters, Voltros is, wait for it, level 26 and a zone full of mobs levels 10 to 20. That means for most players just entering into Westfall or any player that's level 16 or lower sees a skull on this bird's level icon. A skull! Now, for most players at this level range, they've never seen a skull on an NPC's icon unless they were human and feeling a little dodgy and crossed the river between Elwyn Forest and Duskwood. But even the mobs in Duskwood are only levels 20 to 22, which just makes the level of this bird insane. Can you imagine the thought process or reaction of a first time player questing through Westfall for a couple hours when all of a sudden he comes across the mystique of this blue bird? The funny thing is, he's probably going to try and solo it and get absolutely demolished in one or two hits. Now he's intrigued and he can't get this one of a kind bird off his mind. So he does everything he can in order to find out what this creature drops. So he's typing in general chat, telling people about this world boss that just spawned into Westfall and inviting everyone he can in an attempt to take down this buzzard. Now, I'm sure it wasn't uncommon either for people to run to Stormwind and ask a level 60 for help. All of a sudden, the next hour or two has been dedicated to taking down this rare spawn. I do want to highlight that this bird has one of the longest respawn times in the game. According to the World of Warcraft Atlas, Voltron has a respawn time of 21 to 32 hours. Now, I remember leveling through Westfall and Vanilla for weeks, dude, probably a month, and I never came across this rare spawn. He's extremely hard to locate as well because he has at least four different spawn points in Westfall, if not more. Also, there's a lot of unknown facts when it comes to game mechanics and how these guys respawn. The Atlas is nice because it has a chart that categorizes the rare spawn and gives each one an uncommon to ultra rare spawn label as well as the level range that it falls in. So for instance in this case Voltros is level 26 which just enters into the next level bracket and is considered an average rare that respawns every 21 to 32 hours. Now because Voltros is so unique and can spawn all over Westfall I think the way he spawns into the game is different than most rare spawns whose spawn location is static. Like, he still has his normal 21 to 32 hour respawn time, but I think he spawns into the game by the use of placeholders or spawn holders. And the idea of this placeholder mechanic is that once Voltros' respawn time is reset, he's then put into a queue mixed in with normal mobs and one of his many spawn locations. Now, if this is the way it works, it makes sense why people have never seen this bird in Westfall or didn't see it for a couple of years until they revisited Westfall in The Burning Crusade or Wrath of the Lich King. So, why should you want to hunt down this bird? Well, he happens to drop an amazing dagger, Talon of Voltros, that requires level 21 to equip and would be sick to combo this with a recently acquired Cruel Barb from the Deadmines. So if you've got a rogue that you're going to level eventually, you want this dagger saved up and ready to mail to him at level 21. Of course, if you're never going to try and level a rogue, this item sells really well on the auction house for all the other people trying to level rogues. Weapons are everything in vanilla for most melee classes and they dramatically increase your DPS. Also, according to the Vanilla WoW DB, the staggers drop in 25% of the time, but most likely you're going to find his green cloak that drops 75% of the time, which is really underwhelming compared to some of the dungeon cloaks and quest rewards at this level. Now for the hunters who want to tame this bird, don't bother. You'd rather kill him and get a chance at that dagger than tame him. He doesn't have any special abilities outside of the normal Carrion Buzzard swoop ability and his color scheme can be found in Desolus from levels 30 to 35. But as for the size of Voltros, it also scales down to a normal pet mob size, just like all other hunter pets do. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, um, I don't know if any pets stay the original size that they were. Someone that plays a hunter, let me know. I want to finish off with this guys. This one specific mob and the detail that went into designing his existence is exactly the reason why everyone's so excited for Classic WoW. The OG developers put a level 26 rare spawn, extra large, charcoal blue colored buzzard in Westfall around players levels 10 to 18. That means for most of the people who caught a glimpse of this bird, saw him as a skull and were just reminded of how dangerous and mysterious the World of Warcraft really is. This was also in the second zone that most players encountered and it encouraged players to talk with each other in excitement and group up in an attempt to slay this mini boss. 
Some failed tragically, and some were rewarded for their efforts and found an ultra rare blue weapon at level 16 to 18. In Retail WoW, you never encounter something like this. And unfortunately, with the revamp of Azeroth and Cataclysm, it exchanged all the ultra rare high level rare spawns with normal level uncommon rare spawns which were found literally everywhere and i remember at one point in time they gave like five bars worth of experience if you were decked out in heirlooms this is why i'm loving this new series i'm going to be covering hundreds of small details like these and somehow they all end up embodying the love and care and detail that went into the vanilla wow game design guys if i misinformed in any way feel free to explain it in the comment section if you're hyped about Classic WoW, express it in the comments section. That's what these videos are about. Let's all come together as a community in anticipation of the best summer ever. Thanks for watching, guys.